Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's me, Lasty, here. Welcome today to a brand new episode of The Road to Glory, episode number 90. Crazy how fast time flies. We are now 90% of the way to our first 100 episodes of the series. Nutty, nutty. I hope you are all well, enjoying your Sunday. This is going to be what is hopefully the first of two uploads today. So if you'll do me a small favor and smash a thumbs up, um, nice and kind on a Sunday to, to leave that like rating, that'd be amazing. Subscribe as well if you're new. And then look out for a video later on tonight. We'll go uh, into some of our weekend league gameplay a bit later on. So... In order to get into the weekend league, I do need to qualify. Uh, so I, 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 you know, actually gone ahead and done that right now. Um, we have, this is actually the final graft and grind towards Project Zidane, which has only lasted about three or four days, to be fair. Um, I've, I've managed to absolutely work my way through it, which I knew I was going to be able to do throughout the Ultimate Dynasties promo, less so through the Team of the Group Stage promo. Um, and if if all went wrong, then I knew that Zidane would probably still be out during around Team of the Year, so that I'm sure I'd get the fodder to complete it all then. But we're actually going to get him done today. Um, so this is my last, last Ultimate Dynasties promo uh, grind. Um, and from, yeah, from tonight, it will be uh, the 6 p.m. Friday new promo team of the group stage stuff uh, but i'm expecting a slightly quieter week than than for what we had for ultimate dynasties uh, let me know if you think the same or how it's been going so far for you any players that you're going to unlock any packs that you desperately need to do um we are gonna it's certainly going to be a little bit quieter in terms of uh things we can do on the rtg for the next week i would imagine because we're gonna have to go on to uh from project zidane to project rebuild i think um saying goodbye to a lot of fodder from our club basically all of the fodder uh but we know that this game dishes it out so 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 quickly that i'm sure we'll be ready to do another big sbc uh within within a week or something i'm i'm imagining so um you're seeing me qualify for the weekend league here. Basically, just uh, the aim was to get to four. I wanted to get it out of the way because I knew I had limited time left on getting player picks done, getting um, all of all of the the daily SBCs done that I knew would give me the fodder that I required for Zizou. Uh, and yeah, being in game was taking up that time. So. Uh, as you can see, uh, we've managed to get a few wins. Is this probably the third win, perhaps? I think this is probably the third win. Um, and then I just cut out all of the losses because we've got far and enough content for today. Uh, and this will hopefully be win number four, so we can at least qualify. Um, the teams I was coming up against, a mixed bag, a mixed bag. You know, this this is your pretty average team at this stage of the game, isn't it? Uh, of course, and uh, I was able to literally run through from kickoff with Jonathan Barnes. What a man. Uh, I'm, I definitely enjoyed him uh, again. I think he's been nerfed a little bit with the patch uh, from a week or two ago, but he's still sublime. Uh, he, he is still really good. And if you come up against someone that doesn't necessarily know how to defend brilliantly, uh, unfortunately, like this fella, uh, then, uh, then yeah, you can, you can work wonders. And we score a nice red-timed bicycle kick or scissor kick uh, after the... Uh, the couple of skill moves and a rainbow flick and stuff uh, past the goalkeeper. Yeah, quite nice. So that got me uh, enough points. Well, after after a couple more, uh, there we go. I could just end the end the playoffs there and uh, uh, get into the packs. So we are qualified for the weekend league, and uh, we can go ahead and open up our little rewards. And these rewards are just going to stop the club from being completely and utterly empty. And they will give me enough to do probably five or six player picks. That's about it. Um, we're then going to need to... I got to that point. That low point that we all get to once in a while. And I've been letting the stocks build up. So it was quite a good little sesh of... You know when you open tradable packs here, there and everywhere. And you don't necessarily always discard all of the contracts. Or, or you keep some like chemistry styles and managers and stuff like that. I went through the club and discarded all of the uh, 
uh, tradable versions of things that I had that weren't worth anything. So like your typical marksman chemistry style that probably goes for 200 coins. If I had 20 of them in the club, probably 10 of them were untradable. So you'd keep those 10 anyway, which is more than enough to have in the club um, as you'll keep getting them. But then discarding 10 of those uh, and getting a, you know, a, a, a little spattering of coins back into your account so that I could buy more rares and non-rares to go ahead and complete more player picks. So I am, um, yeah, officially uh, just, uh, I was scraping the barrel is definitely the term I would use for for, for the dregs within my club that I could, <laughs> I could stick into player picks. Uh, because I knew that I, I was so close, you know, uh, just needed to get uh, a couple of these squads done and essentially just needed the higher rated players player picks like that weren't particularly helpful because actually i need the 88s i need a couple of 88s that would be really helpful for me uh, rather than the odd 85s but a new day's worth of 83 times 10 come out and of course those 83s 84s 85s are useful for this I'm gonna start with a double walkout it's kante and Kante is relatively useful, but I do need 87s, 88s and above, really. And the low-rated Sané. So that's a little bit of a shame. But again, I, I'm not going to complain with, a you know, effectively a double walkout. So uh, it's not the best 83 times 10 by a long shot compared to what we have had. But it's certainly not the worst, you know. So uh, straight into another one. I'm willing to put whatever informs I have in the club into it. Uh, let's see what we get from our second and final 83 times 10. It's going to be Polish striker from Barcelona. That's excellent. Although we do have untradeable Lewandowski currently in the club. And only one quick sell recovery left, so I don't want to use it in, ca in, in case I desperately need it for something else. So, double informs as well, by the way. So this is a dub of an 83 times 10. Um, it forced my hand to do one of the two remaining 88 rated squads that I had uh, for, for Zidane. It will, it will force my hand in a moment when I actually want to, uh, here we go. So, I didn't want to, but I sort of had to in the end, say goodbye to Lee Kang in. Well, I didn't really plan on using him, so that was a waste of an SBC for me to do anyway. I, I, I don't necessarily mind about getting rid of him. But we have to salute Diani for her services to the club because she has been exceptional. And I really didn't want to put her into an SBC, but I have done. Uh, I've kept Neymar. Neymar is a mainstay, I'm pretty sure. I didn't really want to get rid of either of them, but uh, Diani, I believe, is the price of an 89-rated card. Should I want to buy her back at some point? Or I'm sure we'll pack her again. Uh, but still someone that I find very usable even, you know, two, three months into the game cycle. Uh, that's a good card right there. So, uh, yeah, we, we thank her for her service to the RTG. But it's all for the greater good of getting... Uh, um, a fellow, a fellow nation icon into the club. My favourite player of all time, Zinedine Zidane. So, one squad left. Club, mud it. But, we have the facilities to try and unmud the club uh, by getting 85 doubles and stuff and like the 85 plus player pick and things like that. That could, if we do it right, if we get lucky enough, like right here is a good example of what we need. We need that 88 rated Joshua Kimmich in the club and I need a whole bunch more of that type of thing to complete one more 88 rated squad. So I didn't think, honestly, I mean, we're 12 out of 13, right? We've got literally that one final squad to go. I didn't think it would be quite possible to get Zidane done today. But with a little help of scraping the barrel in my club, getting the odd objective done for Beats Haaland and uh, level 26. They've added another level 26 thing that you can earn packs from. So grinding out games of squad battles and completing Ultimate Dynasty's uh, Maldini objective. That gives me effectively an 84 times 7 here. This is going to be big. If we can get good players from this, this will really help. It's looking like our Luka Modric of the day. Welcome to the club, mate. Uh, and a double walkout at that. So 87 minimum and 87 maximum. That's very helpful. 
287s. We're going to need that for this final squad. So that one's worked out a treat, and we get an 84 as well. All right, not not great, but uh, we'll take it. And then an 84 times four. What are we going to get? English centre back from oh. How is that one not a walkout? It's an 84 times 4. And we get an 85 as best. So that kind of brought me back down to earth a little bit. Two 85s, two 84s, two duplicates. But we know that we can do an 85 plus player pick with those duplicates. So I'll stick them into that. Uh, and this I'm hoping to get a nice high rated card. Um, what are we going to get then? Sandwiched in between two duplicate players we get. Ooh, ooh. 88 pop, 87 de Jong, or 85 Veron promo card. At this point, we know what I need to take. It's the 88 rated pop. Uh, th again, that rating is just so crucial at this point. So we take her. We've got a few bubbling up in the club at the moment. Another 85 double gives me a Bernardo Silva double walkout. So at least 88 or above. Super useful. Bernardo Silva and Mbappe. Mbappe. Oh, no, not Mbappe. Uh, Irene Paredes. Two more 88s added. I think this could, this at this point, it was starting to look like it could be done. Now, I did my gold daily upgrades, you know, putting silvers and bronzes in to get a uh, 11 gold player pack so that I could literally just do more player picks. I got a random duplicate Bernardo Silva from that. That's not helpful. It's cool, but it's not helpful because now I've got to deal with this guy. Uh, I don't want to discard an 88. Uh, so I managed to get some more player picks done because, of course, you can open those without getting rid of that 88 duplicate in the hopes of maybe if we got enough fodder, if we got a couple of 90s from these, we would have been able to get Zidane done. But we didn't, unfortunately. So now we need to put him into... I ended up just putting him into an 85 double again. What are we going to get this time? French... CDM, Angel City FC. The time where you need the high-rated cards, the 85 double gives two 85s. Pain. Absolute pain. But is this another batch? Oh, no, this is an individual player pick I did. I got an Araujo from it. Uh, he's definitely got a new picture. Um, brighter hair than he had previously, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but he didn't fit. What I worked out could fit was if I submitted these four special cards that I'm just not ready to get rid of yet. So I didn't submit this. I thought, I need one more grind. That's probably when I went and emptied the club of all of its value. Um, and played a couple more games against squad battles or a couple more games against my own account on PlayStation so that I could just get a goal with Haaland and quit so that we could get the next reward from that. Because um, I'm, I'm telling you, I don't want to go into this weekend league without my Zidane. I just don't want to. We get a, an inform, we get a Pareo, but that's about it and a couple 85s from that. So that's not going to help. I know that I need 287s, 288s or something like that. Uh, or is it... It, no, it's four 87s that I could use. So this this double pack right here giving me an 88 rated Engler. Endler? Engler? Endler. Endler. Uh, that's going to help a lot. Oh, I was buzzing. Not going to lie, you're never buzzing to see this card because it's not a promo card. You're not that excited about it. Uh, and then in an 81 times 11, I get Trent, which is all oh, double walkout Trent. So higher rated, please. Give me something. Give me something to get Zidane done. Come on. It's going to be Mike Mignan. I think just about we're going to be able to save Rice, uh, Ledley King, uh, Alvarez, and whoever the other special card was that I didn't really want to submit. They'll be on the bench here. Oh, no. Aspas was the other one. Yeah, of course. Oh, got an alarm going off on my phone. I do apologize. Um, so there you go. We managed to craft a complete fodder squad to get the final part done. I changed kits to a France kit so that Zidane can walk out looking all nice. Welcome to the club, my favorite player of all time. French cam icon, 92 rated, ultimate dynasties icon, really cool card design, Zinedine Zidane. The mainstay of my midfield going forwards here on the RTG. 
Zidane to glory or Project Zidane completed it, mate, within about four episodes. We, I, I, I did a lot of upgrades this week to make this happen. We may be flat broke in the club. No players left. No coins. No fodder. But we may just about be able to start the grind again. Look at all the play styles he's got. He's got a lot of the good play styles in the right places. He's got that nice first touch play style plus as well. Really cool car design, nice picture. But I now have the issue that I've got Zidane that can't play as a CDM from the start. Kaka that can only play as a Cam. And Lam that can't play CM but can play CDM. So Lam eventually had to get dropped. He'll be on the bench, and I think I will make use of him in the second half, taking off Frankie. But this is my new start in 11. You want to see me go into the weekend league with this? I will do it in tonight's episode of the RTG. That was a journey. It was a fairly quick journey, to be fair. It was like, you know, just driving down to the shops and back, basically, to get Zidane this week. But we've done it. Um, what is the next big player we should be doing? I'm hearing about, uh, well, no, we'll talk about it in a future episode, but is there any big icon or any big SBC that I need to be planning out next? Let me know down below. Smash a thumbs up. Double upload later. Subscribe. Follow me. Follow me? Follow me on social media. <laughs> Follow me on socials down below. Have a great day, everyone. Take it easy, and I'll catch you tonight. I look forward to seeing you again then. Peace.